So a little while back, we released a video on uh, Go Herping's channel, an Emerald Scales video, which was just announcing Emerald Scales as a whole. But one of the animals we got to see here is this beautiful little bearded dragon. We got her from someone who was just going, uh, moving on from reptiles. I think they were still keeping a few leopard geckos, but for the most part, they were done keeping reptiles and they needed to find a good home for all their animals. We got three bearded dragons from them, and the other two will definitely be for sale. They might actually be for sale right now. It really depends on what time this video goes up. Uh, if they are, there will be a link in the description, I can guarantee. But um, this is the third one that we got, and because they came from someone who knew what they were doing with reptiles, they are in wonderful condition. Uh, the other two need to be tamed down because they're a lot younger and actually haven't been handled a whole lot. Apparently she was handled quite a bit before she came to us. It's just, this one's a lot more chill. It is a she, it is a female, and this one was going to be for sale on Emerald Scales, but I've kind of started to fall in love with her because she's such a sweet little bearded dragon. I used to keep bearded dragons back in California before we moved uh, to North Carolina actually, but I wasn't able to take them across the country. Okay, you see that bearded dragon in that cage? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him eat that bowl of lettuce. He loves the lettuce. She's still pretty small, as you can see. I believe she's around eight months. I have it written down in her record somewhere. I believe she's around eight months. Uh, so she obviously has a long way to grow. Uh, my big male that I had back in California was 18 inches. He was a monster. He was really a massive bearded dragon. She's what, maybe close to 12 inches with her tail? Somewhere around there, probably not even that yet. So she's still got a long way to go. So today, I'm basically just gonna be setting her up in uh, this empty 20 gallon enclosure. Um, now, let me just say that this is not going to be her long-term home. Bearded dragons need a lot more space like this uh, as they grow and mature, so this is by no means a care video or a tutorial. This is simply me just documenting me setting her up. She will definitely be moved up to a larger tank when she gets bigger, but that could take quite a while, so she'll just do fine in this 20 gallon for now. First thing I want to go over is uh, the lighting and temperature rig I've got on this enclosure. Bearded dragons need UVB, which is in this bowl, and then they need heat which is in this bulb. This is just a ceramic heat emitter, so it's just emitting heat. Um, we've got a temperature gauge right here. Right now it's 84 degrees. This light isn't on. It'll be between 88 and 90 degrees uh, once this light is going and running. Check out this beautiful slender design. This is a uh, lamp stand from ZooMed. Uh, they <laughs> didn't sponsor this video, but maybe they should. Um, this lamp stand uh, from ZooMed that I picked up at the pet store the other day, I thought it looked interesting. And I really like it. It just looks so clean and minimalistic with Sheila's tank over there. It's always such a pain to get her out because I have to take off the lamps and take off the lid. And it's just like, ugh. With this one, I can just warp and it's out of the way. It sounds so nice and simple. I love it so much. Uh, so I highly recommend this. It's only made for one lamp, but I have it rigged with two. I have this one clipped on there like that. And this one just kind of looped around there like that. They both fit on there great. It's a little bit heavy, probably more heavier than it's warranted for, but I'm betting that it's not going to fall, so it should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick run through of all the stuff that's going to be going in her 20 gallon. Um, first up, we have substrate. Uh, this is ZooMed's forest floor. I use this for uh, all my ball pythons because it holds humidity well. Now with bearded dragons, you're not, not necessarily looking to hold very much humidity. Uh, they're a desert species, so they, like, they like it dry. Um, so that's not to say that you shouldn't use this, but you shouldn't use it damp. So with the ball pythons, of course, they get misted or they get sprayed or they get moss or moistness. It's some way to keep them humid because they like about 60% humidity. Bearded dragons don't like humidity at all. So we're just not going to use this as a humidity holder. We're just going to use it like a normal substrate. Now over here, we have this water bowl. I'm a big fan of this water bowl. I don't know what make it is. This is something that I got used from somebody else. Um, I'm a big fan of it. It looks super cool. ZooMed hasn't changed their water bowl design in ages, and I don't think they still have changed it for their standard large water bowl. So believe it or not, the one I have in Sheila's tank, I got it uh, 10 years ago when I was 9 uh, in 2010 for a lizard I had back then. Um, and then the one I got like a couple months ago for Sven, my other ball python, is literally the exact same design. All I have to say, this thing is nice, new, fresh, looks great. I love it a lot. I don't know who made this. If you know who made this, let me know in the comments. If you made this, then good job, I approve. And of course, we've just got, you know, standard accessories, hide. Got some logs, some rocks, stuff to make a basking perch. So that's all that's going in here right now. If you have any ideas of some things you think I should add just for fancy accessories and stuff, let me know. I'd always like making my tanks look 
cool and dope and stuff. So give me ideas, please. Very happy with this enclosure, it looks very nice. It's a nice balance between nice looking and also affordable and efficient. It has everything she needs, you know, it kind of looks semi-naturalistic. Do bearded dragons have bioactive enclosures? I don't know if I've ever seen one, but I imagine there's some, there's some out there. I think I'm gonna name her Molly. What do you think? Doesn't she just look like a Molly? I think it fits her very well. If you wanna see more videos on beardies, let me know down in the comments. Uh, because now that I've got one and I'll be growing her up, there will certainly be lots of opportunities. Is that something you guys are interested in seeing? And if so, what kind of beardy videos do you want to see? Care videos? you want to just see fun feeding videos? If you have some specific video ideas, you know, just let me know. Tell me what you guys want to see. And I will do my best to kind of meet the needs of the general populace. Anyways, that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you, and hopefully you'll get to see Molly in another video.